Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing another kind of voiceover type video with this one talking about spices and stuff. Um, I've got some things going on in my town that is uh, a <laughs> little disturbing so I just don't feel like getting dolled up and stuff like that. But I mentioned in a previous video I was starting my journey into kitchen witchcraft and I wanted to take you along that journey so we could learn together. The thing I thought would be good to go over first is spices and seasonings and what they could be used for. Pepper and salt are the two main ones that everyone knows the most about and probably use them the most, but did you know that you could use pepper for bringing courage and banishing negativity? Also, in a fact that I learned was that pepper was used during exorcisms. As we know, there are different types of salts and their properties do differ sometimes. Sea salt can be used as a representation of water. Himalayan salt is good for when you want to take journeys or travels to another dimension. I'm a big user of garlic, especially since I eat a lot of spaghetti and alfredo. Garlic is great for protection and healing, banishment, strength, lust, and breaking hexes or jinxes. Basil is another one of those you tend to use a lot when it comes to Italian meals. This is the best one and the one that I use a lot for attracting money and wealth. What I mean by that is um, that's the main one that I use when I do money spells in my bowl. And I think I've done a video on that before. It is another one good for protection and lust slash relationship. Bay leaves. I mainly use them for spell work and don't really cook with it, but here are their properties. Manifestation is the main one that I use them for, but they are also good for protection, cleansing, like you could cook with it to cleanse your body. Speaking of cleansing your body, you could chew on a piece of ginger for confidence. Ginger is what you should use for sex magic, increasing energy, and bringing luck. Let's talk about time. If you cook with this, it'll help with healing, love, purification, and courage. Use time if you are trying to honor the dead with their favorite meal. Clove is one I have never personally used, but it will help with your mind and memory. Cilantro is for love, clairvoyance, divination, fertility, gain, health, healing, and keeping secrets. Cumin is for banishing evil, binding, peace, and love. Curry is another good one for protection. I couldn't honestly find too many things on it. Now let's get into the sweet type of spices and seasonings. Cinnamon is not only good to add to your red sauce dish to help with heartburn, it is also good for fertility, money spells, and to represent the Yule season. If you need to heat things up in the bedroom, steep it in olive oil. Mint is not only to make amazing drinks in addition to particular dishes. It is good for attracting love, protecting bonds with others, helping with unconscious fears or nightmares. Like cinnamon, it is good for help in the bedroom. Speaking of bedrooms, if you need help with your dreaming, use nutmeg in your tea or cooking. Do you make oils too? Use while cooking. Put nutmeg in your money oil. We talked about Yule, but nutmeg is what you use during Mabin cookings. Cocoa powder, because everyone loves chocolate. White chocolate and milk chocolate are for self-love and friendship. Milk chocolate can also raise emotional energy. Dark chocolate and cacao nibs are both good for grounding. And dark chocolate is also good for love and romance. Another use of cacao nibs is offering to the ancestors. Lastly, coffee or espresso and its magical properties. It helps with blockage removal, helps with divination, and curse removal. Now, those are all the spices that I could look up. Um, I did look on a website that showed you every spice from A to Z, but I didn't go through all of them. I wanted to do a short video to see how y'all would interact with this. If you want more spices or I did not mention a spice that you would like, please put it in the comments below. Blessed be you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.